As I mentioned, let me tell you about Black Chicks was quite the game changing experience. Not only because of the obvious smut factor and banging theme song, but because it hit me to other flicks. You see, back in those days, in movie trailers were all the rage. So whether it was a blockbuster movie, an indie film, or porn, you usually see anywhere from three to five trailers for other movies prior to the main attraction you were getting ready to watch. One trailer I found particularly fascinating was for a flick called New Wave Hookers. This one stood out for its colorful neon punk theme and of course, the cracking theme song. It was like... New Wave Hookers, the best you've ever seen. Then the bitches in the background be like, New Wave makes me hot. For real though, that's how the shit went. Start up. Anyway, it wasn't until many years later that I learned that New Wave Hookers was known for being the center of what's arguably the biggest scandal in the history of porn. You see, the main starlet of the film was none other than Tracy Lords, who used a fake birth certificate, bogus ID, and incomparable blowjob skills to enter the game at the tender age of 15 years old. Yeah, it was a big deal. As you might have guessed, this scandal rocked the porn industry. Once the fans got involved, studios had to scramble to remove all of Tracy films off the shelves because these movies were suddenly deemed child pornography. Fucked up, right? The law came down with heavy fines. I think one cat even did a prison bid over it. Meanwhile, young Tracy came up. She became one of the first performers to successfully cross over from porn to mainstream Hollywood. It's mostly B-movies, but still, it was quite the transformation, transition, etc., etc. Even more interesting is the fact that she continued to use her porn name, leveraging that controversy to fucking profit in a major way. Talk about irony. Now, I never got around to New Wave Hookers, but I did see another flick she was in. I think it was called A Harlequin Affair. Little taboo flick based on a super weird incest theme, which has recently returned to the porn industry in a major way. This was pre-scandal, so young me, I could easily see how she was able to bamboozle the industry. She looked like a fully grown up woman to me. I mean, the game where a lot of the white females look like Sigourney Weaver or Susan Sarandon, she definitely stood out. I mean, the bitch was hot to death, I'll tell you what. I love to recommend the vintage porn classic that is New Wave Hookers, but you better be careful, man. There's a version that has Tracy Singh removed, so you better go for that. Better safe than sorry, freaks. Peace.